guys welcome back to my channel it's grace ama today i'm going to be teaching you how to contour and highlight your face first off i go in with my moisturizer and this is very necessary for any face beat you have to use a moisturizer so when i'm done with my moisturizer i go in with my foundation in zikel my shade and i'm using a soft blending foam i have soaked it in water already for like some seconds for it to be able to function the way i want it to function so that's what i'm doing right now i'm using my blending foam to apply my foundation when i'm done with that i go in with my concealer in shade honey to highlight my face now this is where you have to pay attention i'm still using my blending foam the part at which i use to apply my foundation on my concealer in order for it to actually blend very well i'm putting my concealer underneath my eye i'm concentrating more underneath my eye that's where i want to highlight now i'm going in with my blending foam to actually blend it i'm using the part at which i have my foundation on you all need to be very patient with this part you need to actually blend very well for this to actually come out the way you want it to come out i'm taking my time i'm not in a hurry you also take your time you don't want to have harsh lines when you're done blending so please take your time in doing this part and make sure your foam is soft in order for this to actually go out the way you want it to go out i'm actually focusing underneath my eyes very well so you also have to do this too you i'm using two shades lighter than my color to actually highlight my face that's how you get it to be pronounced when you use a shade or two lighter than your skin tone This is how my face looks like after highlighting so now I'm going to contour my face and to do this I'm going to go with a foundation, a concealer sorry that is two shades darker than my shade to contour from my neck to my under chin. When I'm done applying this, I go in with my blending foam, but mind you, this time I'm using the other part of my foam. I'm not using my foundation part. This is because my foundation part is going to have some remnants of my highlight and my foundation on it. And it's not going to make my contour come out the way it's supposed to come out. So I'm using the other clean part of my blending foam to do this.
now that i'm done with my cream contouring and highlighting i'm going to set my face using my powder palette i'm using two shades lighter than my shade underneath the part at which i kept my highlight and i'm going to just be pressing it on my skin don't drag just press it on your skin take very little quantity and press on your skin that's what we're going to be doing here on both eyes my nose i use a smaller brush that's because of the shape i want to achieve please don't use a big brush to actually get the shape of your nose once i'm done with this i apply my powder around my face now i'm using my face powder my shade that's what i'm using right now applying it around my face because i still have some oil content on my face that's the whole contouring part of my foundation so when i'm done with that i use a darker shade of powder on the part at which i kept my cream contour this is done in order to actually make it more pronounced and i take mine up a little bit because of the precision i want to give my forehead so i do the same for the other part of my face too for my nose contour i use a more defined brush an angle brush to actually do this because i don't want it spreading around my whole face and i want a precise look so i use a small brush you should also use a small brush too When that is done, I go in with my loose powder. Now this is called a translucent powder. This is done to absorb the heat, absorb the whole excess oil and anything that wants to make you sweat after the whole makeup. Here it absorbs it and locks it in your skin. That's the whole essence of the loose powder. The translucent powder is a colorless powder. So they say so. Put it where you have your highlights. On your nose underneath your eyes i'd actually put it underneath my eye directly because i don't want it to be too patchy or too dried because it ends up soaking the whole moisture underneath my eyes and i don't like the effect it gives me so i rather not put it underneath my eye but if you actually have a very oily skin then i advise you actually put it underneath your eye very well then i go in with that same hang angle brush to get my precise look if i've actually lost it while putting my translucent powder that's what i'm doing right now so this is what your face should look like when you are at this stage then i take my powder brush to swipe swipe and swipe off the whole translucent powder of my face then when i'm done with this i actually add like a little bit of my powder on the powder brush if i feel that my translucent powder is still there and it's making my face too white i just add a little bit of my powder on the powder brush mind you why swiping please don't swipe too hard Be very gentle and then i go in with my blush i'm placing my blush on my contour you know what i'm saying on my contour so when i'm done with this this is how my face looks like i'm spraying my face right now to get the whole dewy effect i use my powder brush to still pat my face after i spray my face that's how i do mine anyway then i go in with my glow you know we have to glow like we have to glow so when i'm done with that this is how it looks like this is the finished look guys i hope you love it i hope you enjoy it bye